Mesa. Yes. Do you do you want to talk about next generation? I mean, I'm hoping to be a part of it when it starts. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm answering as many bets as I can. Only one of us has uh, their consoles locked in, and their <laughs> their name starts with and ends with Era. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm uh, s- Mesa and I are going to be speaking about that next week on the show. I will hopefully have a have a. Uh, early impressions of Godfall for PlayStation 5. So, look out for that, I guess. Yay. Hopefully, Mace, Mace and if, I will, will be desperately trying to grab some uh, next-gen consoles. Hopefully if uh, UPS mm. smiles upon me and mm. delivers it on time. The, the UPS gods. Please. Let's go ahead and jump into some uh, PlayStation <laughs> tech news. I, I was not aware of this, and apparently they had announced it. I guess maybe I just assumed uh, the PS5 SSD is not a terabyte. It's 825 gigabytes mm-hmm. with the OS. Uh, with After the OS, this basically leaves you with 667 gigabytes of free space, which uh, with previously highlighted uh, concerns with, you know, games getting like stupid, crazy high um, file sizes. Call of Even, Duty. Like, yeah, Call of Duty is like how much? 265 well, gigabytes? Something like what that? What you need to remember is that's only if you download Warzone. If you don't download Warzone, you're fine. If you don't yeah, download the true. most popular version of the game, you're fine. <laughs> you're, okay. <laughs> don't download Warzone. <laughs> Modern, Modern Warfare has a really good campaign. It does. Don't download Warzone. It, 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 it is worth noting that uh, the competition, the uh, Xbox Series X, does have a terabyte of uh, storage. And as well, it already has uh, official expansions, another terabyte, which you can get at an admittedly high price of like 200 bucks. But mm-hmm. uh, there's currently no supported uh, external SSDs that you can plug into the PS5. And how... And ha- yeah. Um, t- 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 uh, hope, but it's according to this article, uh, apparently this is being offset by the PS5's hardware, allowing for faster download speeds, uh, with the example given by this GameStop write-up saying that Fist of the North Star, an anime I have not watched, I assume Mesa has. I have not watched it, but I am familiar with Kinshiro's um, uh, post-apocalyptic adventures. Is Fist of the North Star the uh, Omaiwa Shinderu, or is that something yes. else? Yes, okay. it is. It's also the inspiration for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That that that's all I know it for. <laughs> but uh, so they used uh, Fist of the North Star, which they called a uh, medium range file size game. It's at it sits at thirty seven gigabytes. It can be downloaded in seven minutes on the PS five compared to an hour on the PS four. So I don't I don't know the exact tech mag- wiz- wizardry behind it, but that's yeah, it allows for though. faster downloads. Uh, PS fours download. Like I, re- I remember they made such a big deal about having it se- a separate processor specifically for downloads when the PS4 was coming out. T- to be fair, anything that was better than the PS3 download speed was a fucking godsend. <laughs> see, see, they say that when I tried to play Rainbow Six Siege on Thursday night, and I couldn't because the download is- <laughs> the download time for the updates were five hours. Yeah, I mean, I, have- I was like, ouch. <laughs> I have pretty crazy high uh, internet speeds. Like on Steam, I can download something like no mm-hmm. problem within 30 minutes. My PS4 is like, yeah, I got, I got to give that a day. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, are you ready to sit around for five hours? And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, not really. And some also uh, comparison news. And uh, it's, it's also specifically because of this. I am now very enthusiastic about uh, trying to grab an Xbox Series load X. Times, load times, load times, load times. Oh, the load time comparisons on, on that have been flooding YouTube now have been amazing. Oh my like, god. Yeah, we, we, we can touch on that a bit now, but in, in terms for the PS5, um, one of the bigger features is that uh, the PS5 will have the same uh, suspend mode that the PS4 has. You can currently suspend one game and then uh, resume from where you left off as what as long as it's not a uh online dependent game you know like let's say Fortnite you can't mm-hmm. suspend it like, and pop back in uh at, but this is also compared to the Xbox Series X and I believe the S can do this as well uh quick resume which lets you go up to I think people said 5 maybe even as as much as up to 7 depending on what games you're doing holy crap and mm-hmm. so so just that alone 
Because I, I jump between games like there's no tomorrow. Someone wants to hit me up to play a multiplayer. I'm just like, well, sorry, I'm in the middle of a Red Dead mission. I can't. You got to hit me up in like 40 minutes. <laughs> um, So that that's something that I'm just like, damn, the, the Xbox is really seeming uh, alongside the, the superior load times is seeming uh, to be more of the go to console for me, at least in terms for like multi-platform. Um, while the PS5 will, will definitely still be there for exclusives and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, and Sarah, you're obviously getting both, although I believe you're not getting your Xbox until Christmas, right? So I'm going to uh, talk my family, because my Xbox is actually a gift. It's a gift for my parents. And they're like, oh, I can't play it until Christmas, but I'm just going to be like, can I just play it? Because my friend and I were going to move our Gears 4 game onto the Series X. <laughs> can I just like play it so I can play Gears with someone? I mean, they'll probably say... <laughs> Yes. But the thing is, I don't play like multiple games at once. Like, I'll, I, cause I don't have the attention span for that. So I don't see myself using that feature super intensely because I normally save when I'm done with something, then turn to something else. So I don't see myself really using that. And I think honestly, like, quick resuming between five or six games is honestly a little bit too much. For reference, how many tabs do you leave open on Chrome at any given time? Three to four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, got yeah. like 20 Is that per time. window? Uh, no, it's one window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how many. I think I have like 30 open at this point. I, I think I lowered m- some of mine specifically just for the stream. But yeah, usually it's like, uh, like 30 or so. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's like, I don't see myself using that quick resume feature. I'm more impressed by the loading times, especially watching, uh, I believe it was IGN who compared Death to, uh, Death Stranding's opening loading between mm-hmm. PS4 and PS5. And for PS5, it took only a minute 30 when I remember it taking like five, four or five minutes. Yeah. Just so to it's go- like for me, I'm- like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to go over some of the loading times that I've noted down here, uh, for Avenge, and this is going to be, uh, we'll do a PS5 compared to Series X for this. Um, Avengers on PS5 takes a minute and a half to uh, boot up, while the Series X takes a minute, so 30 second difference. And then um, just for the uh, Xbox Series X compared to the um, Xbox One X, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is uh, 38 seconds as compared to 2 minutes and 8 seconds. On the mm. Xbox One X, uh, Control is 10 seconds versus 58, which is Final fucking nuts. Because Control Fantasy. has long as hell. Lo- I'm sorry, but Control has long as fuck loading time. Especially if you keep dying and you have yeah, to keep doing that. So screwed. You got to sit there for like two minutes. Let's see. Final Fantasy oh, 15 is uh, 13 seconds versus a minute and 11. Outer Worlds, a game that is filled to the brim with fucking loading. <laughs> is uh 11 seconds versus 43 and uh fallout 4 another open world game is uh 10 seconds versus a minute i wouldn't be surprised if they're able to retool uh out of world so that has like almost no loading screens i I mean for games that just have like such frequent load loading times like in between levels whatever this is going to be such a fucking god well Mm -hmm. i'm wondering if people remember when they showed the first demons i i always pronounce it like demons because it's got the like yeah demons Demons souls uh gameplay when they use the bonfire and instantly was teleported to the next Mm -hmm. area like that shit blew my mind and when they said like that was like live game gameplay like i was like holy fuck like there's no time like you're instantly Mm -hmm. there I yeah. think someone was testing um, The Witcher 3 on the Series X, and it was just instant. Like, there was no, like, cut to black or anything. It's just like, boop, now you're here. There was, just... like, weird world and texture pop-ins. Yeah, though. there was that. Like, it was, like, really you... freaky. Like, the world just didn't exist for, like, half a second. I, I, I would hope a patch would fix that. Did you see the test for uh, GTA Five? I did not, no. actually. <laughs> it's, like, 15 seconds. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird... I'm very excited to enter this 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 new world. So, so Mesa, new but, world without but, loading screens. Yeah. So before the show, I believe um, Sarah, Sarah was asking me if I had managed to get a pre-order for the Xbox, and I'm like, no. And and then you said, but he has it pre-ordered in his soul because <laughs> previously I had I'd been on the record saying like I have a PC, I'm going to skip the Xbox. But the uh, quick resume and load times are really mm-hmm. winning me over. So I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm probably going to fucking grab one now. 
Yeah. Um, Where do you lean on all this? Uh, I can still wait on an Xbox, uh, though I do want the quick resume features to come, because, like, I think that would be amazing to be like, you know, if I have a fighting game, I can just pause it in the training room and just return to the training room instantly. That That's pretty good. Nice. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just happy that everyone's shifting together into the, the into the, the the you know into the world of paradigm. ssds yeah, we're going into the future <laughs> i mean it's still kind of cr- i i mean uh microsoft would have to support this at a os level for a uh, mm-hmm. windows but yeah you, you still can't suspend a game on a pc let alone yeah. freaking multi um i wonder because um with amd's new processor and graphics cards they offered they announced a feature that will make it will make um of their processor and graphics cards together work kind of similar to how a console would work. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of curious if maybe because of that pairing, we could see a lot more um, console like features on desktop in the future. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was listening to I don't remember which podcast because I literally listened through like five of them at work. Hmm. But um, there, there's talks of um. NVIDIA possibly opening uh, maybe slots is the wrong word. You can correct me. You're the more knowledgeable. Uh, basically of putting SSDs onto uh, GPUs. Have you heard yeah. anything about that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. NVIDIA definitely did talk about that type of thing in their last press conference. And, you know, something like that wouldn't be hard for AMD to also reciprocate. Um, yeah. Just basically like basically super fast storage. That that would be not the not the video RAM, but you know, separate super fast storage for uh, those graphics cards. Yeah. Okay, so that could probably even the playing field because it seems like right now when uh, when the uh, current generation of consoles came out back in 2013, they were basically at the mid range, if if not maybe a little bit below for what PCs yeah. were at the time. But but this time around, it's like you're getting a hell of a fucking uh, powerhouse for these prices. Yeah, 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 easily like an eight or nine hundred dollar system mm-hmm. for those prices. Plus, you're getting like actually optimized games. Yeah, they'll actually that, run. Is... You won't have to worry about like fucking yeah. Assassin's Creed fucking bugging out on you or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, but I mean, like, you know, like, even if this, even if my desktop was the exact same spec as like PS5, and I was playing like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to run better on the PS4, PS5 PS just because, you know, that I've optimized. actually been able to optimize the game for that system, yeah. It, exactly. Uh, speaking of loading times, uh, the PS4 has recently actually seen a bit of an improvement o- across some of its exclusives thanks to new patches from uh, Oodle Kraken, a compression software solution by tech company Rad Game Tools that's been licensed by Sony in order to drastically reduce the overall file size of games and improving Ooh. load times while simultaneously uh, sustaining their original quality. So some of the games listed here include The Last of Us Remastered now only takes 14 seconds for its initial boot versus its previous minute and 30 seconds. And that's without, you know, the PS5's advantage of an SSD. So you can expect that to work even... Uh, greater wonders over there and so basically what this technology is doing it's basically just uh texture compression i i don't know the exact uh wizardry behind it but they managed to do it through a patch and it's able to bring an un- an, an uncompressed game for uh, that's at sitting at 80 gigabytes down to 40 gigabytes on an ssd so while we're seeing this kind of already work wonders on current games on PS4, it's going to be continue to be adapted onto the PS5. And that's actually pretty freaking exciting. And it's pretty actually pretty fucking important to have game sizes continue uh, to be lowered, especially with uh, the previously mentioned 600. What was the size? 667 gigabytes of free space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So compression technologies that retain quality are going to be in of dire need. I mean, I just wish other games other than, like, Sony exclusives use this, because playing Watch Dogs Legion right now, when I, like, sometimes when I go into another area that requires a loading screen, it could take anywhere up from, like, 5 to 10 seconds to, for, like, a minute. 
And it's just like, I feel like we've reached this point where like loading should not take like a minute or like a minute 30. Mm -hmm. So kind of just like, why is it stuff other than Sony doing this? Or why isn't other studios looking into doing this? But at the same time, I'm glad that Sony's pushing the initiative to do it so that PS4 games now will load at a faster rate and people don't have to sit there for like two minutes, three minutes, depending on how long something takes to load. Hmm. Do you know anything specific about this whatsoever, Mesa? Is this com- come into your wheelhouse? I mean, if it's just to do compression technology, that's you know, that's. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not. It's I, pretty much what is, it, it's pretty yeah. much what it is at face value, then, right? There's, yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too big in software. I just know it's a little bit about hardware. Um, you know, like one of the reasons why the PS5 and Xbox Series X is doing so much, especially doing so much better with older games, um, especially if you were to like put an SSD in like a PS4, the reason why that doesn't dramatically increase your load times is because, you know, the CPUs of those consoles are actually very weak. And the um, US isn't necessarily built to take advantage of it as well. Yeah. 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 But yeah, those, those, those CPUs are like really, really, really low. Um, but, with the new generation, very fast. So, um, right. And uh, I just want really to say, uh, I really hate to burden your guys' conversation, but uh, I don't know if this is breaking. Scrolling through Twitter, Uh-oh. Xbox support posted a couple hours ago. The team is aware some fans are starting to receive their Xbox consoles uh, ahead of launch. For those who receive them early, you are welcome to fire it up and start gaming. F- FYI, we are still making final touches for launch, so please expect multiple platform and game updates. Oh, wow, so that's cool. Some people mm. are receiving their Xbox consoles early. Uh, if if someone watching does, don't be alarmed. You can easily mm. boot, boot it up. You can start playing it. X- Xbox isn't going to like break down your door SWAT style and like rip it out of your wall and take it away. <laughs> like You can use it, but I... I can't believe we're getting to the point where uh, people are getting consoles in their hands, right? Yeah. People not who are I. not like journalism people <laughs> are legitimately getting them. But also, kudos to m- m- Microsoft for just being super cool and being like, hey, just being how we're not mad that you're getting them early. You can start playing them now. We don't care. So, I mean, hey, good on them for nice. being like, go ahead. Just And plus, good on them for, for also saying, hey, just a heads up there might be some like weird stuff on the console because we haven't done pre-launch updates. Right. So good on them for the, for the transparency and for just being, Hey, you guys can use them. Just know going in, it might be a little bit funky, but you can go right ahead. So just wanted to throw that in there. Cause I just saw that. <laughs> Thank you for the breaking news. Reporter I mean, Sarah. I <laughs> kind of breaking from like three hours ago, but I didn't see it until now. Relatively breaking. So. And uh, just, just one continue. last, oh yeah, just one last note on the Oodle Texture uh, technologies is I wish that this had come uh, before the Bandai Namco patent ex- uh, expired. And and for those that don't know, Bandai Namco had a patent on loading screen mini games. So I like one that's that comes to mind is fucking what is it? Dragon all the Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai games would have like mm-hmm. dumb little mini games you can do like on the loading to like grow Cybermen or or. Yeah. What was it to make uh, Go Tanks do the little uh, ghost attack? Mm-hmm. You can tell how fucking out of date I am with Dragon Ball. Well, you're but, right. Uh, the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. But yeah, so yeah, now everyone can make uh, loading screen mini games. But uh, now that loading <laughs> screens are <laughs> loading going screens away, it's like, damn, we could have we could have used that patent a while ago, or, or had it expired a while ago. 